Hi, my name is Lina and in this video I will tell you everything that there is to know about the Groove Pool. <laughs> Where we go and swim in the grooves of our music. How does it work? Where is it? All the functions of it and how to adapt it into your music production workflow. So that's all in this video. So watch it. Watch it. Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Audio Stuff. I've recognized that you guys really like watching these videos where I tell everything about a certain function in Ableton Live, so that's what we're doing here again. Please let me know down in the comments if there is further things that you'd like to know about Ableton Live. I've already done these type of videos about warping, about, uh, about the cue, also about, what was it? Oh yeah, about return tracks. So if you do want to know everything about a certain aspect of Ableton Live, let me know down in the comments. So let's get into this episode, shall we? Yes, we shall. First, it's good to know that in a live intro, a live light, you can do all this by loading it to the clips, but you cannot, uh, the grooves cannot be edited in the group pool that we will be talking about today. Just the, just so everybody knows that. So what is the groove? Groove refers to the timing and the feel of a rhythm, of a beat. Ableton Live, there's actually a way of affecting the groove and the feel of all the samples, either separately or all them as one. I figured this out like very late in my like years of learning Ableton Live because I did not know that nobody talked to me about that. So I'm so glad that I figured this out and hopefully if you haven't heard about Groove Pool, which is this button here, the waves, so we can go and swim into the pool of grooves. Yes. You can just press from there and it opens. That's the button. That's the button of calorie for grooves. What do we add there? What are grooves? It's specifically a file format dot agr. Agr. I have some ready-made grooves that should come with Ableton Live. So if you go to the packs and I just go here and put groove. Oh, freaking fuck. This has died like mood lighting. Um, so if I go to the top bar and I put groove and I go packs and there you can find the core, core library shows up and core library is where all these grooves are uh, saved. So there is different uh, grooves for different purposes that are very good for different um, group purposes. So let's example go uh, loosely flow. Okay, I want that one, I listen to it. And the groove is the recip represented in this point with this like a uh, rhythmic percussive sound like that. like that. Okay, so I just take it, drag and drop it to the groove pool. Can't help myself. Otherwise, you can also, if you want it just for one thing, you can go and drag and drop it to a certain clip because what happens is that when we go to the clip view, we go to this groove section here, and you see now from this drop down menu, loosely flow has been selected as the groove of this sample. Yes. I wanna add the loosely flow to the drum. So I'm gonna highlight all the samples I wanna get it to, and then I'm gonna go to the groove section of all these. So now of course all of them are selected. So it's just gonna multi-select all of them. So I just go to the groove and I do, yes, choose loosely flow. There we go. So now if I go to any of them, you see that it's all of them. It says loosely flow. Oh yeah. And also under there, there's a button called commit. And commit in this point as in many ways indoors, commit means that we're committing to something. And in this point, we are meaning that we are like imprinting this groove into the actual samples. Look at this view when I press commit. Some of them move 
places a little bit, you know, it was quantizing zing it <laughs> a little bit and it just makes it more to that groove. So now example, if I go groove, it says none, nothing is picked because I did the committing thing. It imprints into it. So if it's audio, it will warp it with the warp markers. If it's MIDI, it will basically move the plucks so that they are in the groove that we have selected with the settings. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but in this point, please, can you hit the subscription button plus hit the bell icon because you want to be here again. I know you also follow me on Patreon because there's a lot of cool stuff like I'm giving feedback for people for their tracks and there's more extra content. So check that out. And now you can just go back to this tutorial. But now we want to see how can we set them first. First, 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 we need to go to the group pool. First one, the bass. What does the bass mean? So the bass will do is the timing resolution of where the notes will be measured. So it's the time grid compared to the groove that we have selected. You can't hear any difference yet, but if we go now to quantize and I select 100%, so 100% will be snapped to the nearest value that you selected in here in the base value. We need to kind of uh, divide the timing of the samples into these these values so that we can quantize or we can select and manipulate rhythm better. I just changed the groove so that we can hear the difference better. There we go. Now it's doing that. Quantize is more the straight time adjustments before this, but then this is based on that. So you know what I mean? So. Uh, that's why we are still t staying in the groove, even though we're quantizing it. So you, what you can do is example, just give like 22. And that can example add just enough for you for being like enough in the groove, but at the same time, not manipulating the rhythm too much. Okay, so the next one is timing. So quantize is now selecting for the straight values of these. So we're affecting from these to that. We're timing, so how much is this affecting the clip uh, we want to apply it to? So timing example, uh, 80%, I want to apply hip hop to 80% to all this. So now it's affecting a lot of all of this because we have it in 80%. Much more. So example this timing, we're applying it a lot. This is just general base and quantize. This is affecting now. Okay, and then we have random and what random is, is the amount of random time uh, fluctuation, fluctuation, fluctuation. So you can add some uh, human feel to the rhythm or you can make it just very, very un random. So examples, human feel is more like under 20, so zero to 20%. And then if we start to get much more random, 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 it's uh, definitely like a person maybe who doesn't know rhythm that much. So it's still, it could be still human feel, but is it a child? With the random, we mean that it's slightly offset from the grid as well as each other. So from the nodes that we are selecting. So yeah, so let's just have a look what how so if we put quantize and timing and then let's put first just like zero to 20. So I'm just going to put the base as normal. So yeah, it adds this kind of random fluctuation to it to make it more human like about in 21%, 20. And then let's get really random. Yeah, so there's a lot of things going on there. So what random also is good for to double things. So let's say two hi-hats and you double in them up and then you add to the other one, you add a lot of random. Then example, that can be a very cool way of creating kind of more human feel to it.
and just generally I feel like drums or anything you know can benefit from that and then we have velocity and velocity goes in here from minus hundred percent to plus hundred percent so what does that mean how much of the uh, velocity information that's in this groove file is put towards the actual loop so that is how much velocity are we putting towards if we're going to go to minus this is very cool it reverses the velocity controls so everything that is really low velocity will actually be now high velocity so when you're on a plus it's like a normal and when you go to minus it actually like reverses it reverses it it. High velocity things are now quiet and quiet velocity things are now high. Very cool. So I can't hear almost anything now. So it exaggerates the velocities that we have in here. That's what basically it does. Another important control we have is the global amount. So this is the global amount of everything what is happening here. So example, you could add a lot of high percentage of everything, all of this and all of this, and then use this global amount, quite small amount, or you could have this as very high and use smaller amounts of these. So it just depends how you want to use it. But very cool thing is also is that if you go up here, when you use group pool, the percentage of the global amount also goes into the top bar. So you don't need to always open up this you know, you can just actually get it from here and then you can MIDI map this during the session or uh, during light performance or something and you can just control it from here. Uh, very, very, very useful. So a groove needs to be on a clip to be able to actually see on the percentage on the top as well. It's not only the amount of it, but it's the intensity. So that makes more sense to me that it's the intensity of uh, these controls that we set in here. So we usually have it at 100% and 100% means that it's the, all the assigned values that we have set in here, but it actually gives us 130%, which means that it exaggerates all the assigned features, all the assigned values that we already set. So it even makes it even bigger. That is so cool. How can we edit groove? So example, I have a hip hop groove here. How can I edit it? Well, very easy. And I just take this groove and I put it here. And what happens is that it's now MIDI information. And that's what groove is basically. It's just MIDI information. Now I can uh, make my own groove here. Whoa. So example, now I have manipulated my own groove. So what I can do is a couple ways to turn it into my own groove is that I can just drag and drop it again here. And now you can see that it's put hip hop to one. And now if I put this groove on a rhythm, I can use it exactly the same way that I used. Very good. There's another way also. I can just go here, right click it, and then I can go here and extract grooves. There we go. And it adds to the group pool on the there. You can, uh, of course, you can rename them. Uh -huh. And then you can always save them as you want as your own groove. And it goes under user library and groups and that's where you can get your own groups i can also extract grooves from audio samples as well as i just did in midi samples so example we have this rhythm and i can just go here right click extra go grooves it's loading groove is being extracted from the eighth file there we go so if this sample is the drum sample that is the base of all the whole my song, I can now use this to example, uh, setting the groove of all my other samples. I can highlight everything else. And then I go to the clip view, select groove and select that one. And now all my other samples are now set to follow the groove of my drum sample. Hey y'all, and here we are uh, going to the weekly question from Lavonda Rocks. So she's asking, 
uh, what is the easiest or best way to take song from arrangement view to the session view so that you can play live? Uh, so what I will show you is very quick and easy to, way to do it. So you're going to go to your arrangement view where you have your arrangement. Then you're just going to uh, do everything in section. So we're going to do intro, verse, chorus. So intro, I can see that there is a sample there. I just need to make sure that they are all the same length. So I'm just going to press command J and make sure that that clip is the same length as the other clip in the intro. I literally copy paste that, go to session view, paste that into the scene, first scene, which I have named intro. I do the same here, take the kick from the uh, from the first sample, take that there, and there we go. Now we have an intro selected. We do exactly the same for verse and chorus. So example, that can be a command J. I consolidate them together, take them there. That's gonna be the verse. And there we go. And now I already have an intro and verse, and I'm gonna repeat the practice for every single one of them. So intro. And then when I go to go to verse, and it, and it plays it exactly the same. I had it in their arrangement view. That's my tip for you. So that was my response from last week's question. So ask me anything, any type of Q and A thing. Comment them down below, and I will uh, pick one of them and I will answer that question end of next week's video. Please subscribe, please hit the bell icon, follow in my Patreon as well as Instagram and I'll see you next week. We will. So see you next week. Okay, bye.